maybe maybe you'll learn something today if you if you haven't heard some of these terms before. On a film set, what is a stinger? It looks like Eric Fakardzada got it first. Stinger is an extension cord. That's exactly right. Mark Cordero says, isn't that a cocktail? <laughs> and Vettel on YouTube wants to know, do you know what production assistant is called in Norwegian? It's pro das. Translates to professional toilet. Oh, <laughs> that's sad. Uh, what does the acronym SOT, S-O-T, stand for? Eric's got it again. Sound on tape. And of course, we're not recording the tape anymore, but I still like the acronym SOT just because it's nice and short. So that's what I like to, I'll call my file names that when I'm organizing my footage. Question number three, what is over cranking? Eric said, isn't that how they shoot slow-mo? And Johnny says, is it increasing the shutter speed? Technically they are both right. Over cranking means slow motion, speeding up the recording speed. Like literally you would take an old film camera and crank it faster to record the frames faster. Johnny Boz says, sounds like it sucked back then. <laughs> Having to manually crank your camera. Everything sucked, you had huge cameras. <laughs> this piece of gear is commonly called sticks. I think Eric is four for four here. He says tripods. He came in just before hank o -Matic, who said tripod. Everyone's saying tripods. Uh, I think Eric just has the fastest connection. He's actually in the other room watching. <laughs> Generally, the word pan means a movement like this horizontally. Although you hear people use it to mean all sorts of movement. Uh, pan up, pan down. But if you were angling the camera upward, what would you call it? Ooh, hank o for the win on this one. hank o says tilt. Alvar on YouTube says to a client, everything is a pan. <laughs> what does it mean to stop down? Half the exposure, I'll, I'll take that from Rhett. Yeah, have the exposure, that's the important thing. If you don't understand stops, then ND filters are useless. Like what does a three stop filter do for me? Well, it cuts your light into an eighth because it's one stop, which is ha half the light, another stop, which is half of that light, so now we're down to a quarter, and then another stop, the third stop, brings you down to one eighth of the light. What is a C47? A clothespin, says Alvar on YouTube, getting in just before Eric. C47, another one of those terms that's like, okay, now you're just trolling us filmmakers. Like, how long does it take to say the word clothespin? <laughs> and then our final question. In movies, what is Non-diegetic sound. Diegesis means story, I think, in Latin? I don't know. This is something I learned in film school. The Filmmaker's Workshop says added sound. Non-diegetic sound is added sound. That is correct. This is a good answer from Kevin Walls. Sound that exists outside the world of the film. Yeah, when you add music on top of a movie, it's non-diegetic sound. Although, you often see non-diegetic sound begin as non-diegetic sound or presumably non-diegetic sound and then it becomes diegetic sound like you hear the song you're going through the town drone shots it's all cool and then you land in someone's car and you realize they're hearing that song on the radio then it becomes diegetic sound i think that eric fakardzada on twitch 100 percent won that that round i think he got six or seven out of those so congratulations eric on being such a great film student with a fast internet connection living in the same continent as me. A lot of, uh, a lot of disclaimers there.